Not... Hey everybody, we're back from break <laughs> with more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Um, and the party, right, fade in. The party arrives after traveling a short distance up to the second level of uh, Skullport and a little ways to the north. Um, you can actually see... Yeah, you can actually see underneath you to the south. Or not to the south. You, you can, can see uh, to the it's east, right, is the Guts and Garters, right? So you're actually not too far away from the Guts and Garters. Um, And you actually, how far can you see? Okay, not, not that far, so never mind. Okay, um, so outside... of the lamplighters. Um, two dim lights hang outside the door to the shop. One partially illuminates a sign showing a haphazard drawing of a lantern and a hand lighting it. Uh, what would you like we, to do? We head on up to the door. Open that bad boy up. Open it up. Um, as it opens, you hear this little ching, ching, ching. And then we uh, look around. Yeah. What we got going on here? Zombies for sale. You step inside, yeah. and in within is an orderly little shop. Uh, rows of shelves filled with various lanterns dominate the space. In the northeast corner of the building is an array of candles on display in a terraced sorting unit. And uh, behind a little counter in the middle of the building is a old... Elf, half elf, uh, kind of standing there. He turns towards the door as you open it and, and step inside. Um, and he says, Hello there. Uh, good morning. Let's go with morning. Yes, can I be of assistance to you? Uh, m maybe. Uh, what what kind of wares does he have, like sitting around? So there's there's various different lanterns in uh, many different makes and models. Some of them actually look quite old, honestly. Um, some look brand new. Uh, but the whole place is filled with different types of lanterns or lamps. As, along with a, an assortment of candles that are in the northeast corner of the building. Um, as you as you say, you speak out to him, right? Um, he looks back at you, or he, he looks at you, uh, with very clearly sightless eyes. Oh. Uh, Irony. I get it. Um, I, Rene? Excuse <laughs> me. Ah, we're looking mm. for a... Uh, his head kind of jerks stuff. in your direction as you speak up now, Matashtai. Yeah. Uh, we're... Hello. Hello. We're, uh, we're looking for an Andarian Dusk. Uh, you know him? It seems Are you, you found him. <laughs> Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, my name's Matt. And my name is Andarian. Um, so you don't have any, like, Minotaur guards or anything to help you not get attacked by Mind Flayers or anything? Suspiciously specific. What? <laughs> and and what? 
Uh, sorry, I'm, excuse I'm sorry. my friend. Uh, <laughs> our first night here wasn't uh, probably the best impression. Oh, I I just try not to make trouble. Keep my head low. Tell a few lamps here or there. Just enough to buy bread. A simple life. That sounds real nice. Um, but, and Darian, I, I gotta be honest with you, we're here not for some lamps. Uh, we're, we were told uh, you might have something called the Eye of the Coven. I turns and says, and he says, I don't know what you mean. Are you sure? I've never heard of such a thing. Maybe it went by a different name. Oh. <sighs> I'm gonna... shrugs and he says, I fear you may mistake in this place, friends. This is a simple lamp shop. All right, this Nothing is more. Sketchy. I want to. Um, I want to like, look around. Are there any like, like spectators around? Oddly specific. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything else in the room. So is there a, something that anything that would 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 suggest that he would have a reason to not want to share that kind of information. Um. There doesn't seem to be anything here threatening him. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, I guess that's what I meant. That's good. Look, Darren, you don't know us. A couple of people walking off the street and asking about something. But we're trying to save a kid. And that might be the only way that we make sure that he makes it out alive. Oh. I wish I could help you. It sounds like you have your hearts in the right places. Well, wrong place. This is Skullport after all. But, <laughs> but in a good place. It's not this place. I'm gonna... I'm gonna grab a gold coin out and flip it at him. Uh, okay. Is has everyone stepped into the building at this point? By the way, yeah. is this like is, yeah, is everyone whatever. in here? Yeah, yeah, we in. Is it another oni? I bet it's another oni. It's another oni. Okay, cone of cold. Let's go, baby boys. Uh, sure you're standing perfectly in cone territory. You flick the gold we coin are? at Where him. Where the fuck are we? Uh, up north. Okay, there we are. Got it. I've been, um, like, searching the map for a while. I just kind of stopped. <laughs> I just couldn't find anything. Uh, <laughs> I wish there was a way where I could center the player's visions. Oh, that would be amazing. That would be such a great. I guess they're, like, I could set this map to, like, update on drop token. Maybe I try that. Maybe I try that in the future. Uh, we'll see. Um, so, anyways, um, you flick a gold coin at Andarian. Yeah. Um, it it hits him in the chest. Like he's 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 just standing there. His hands are kind of like clasped on the countertop um, in front of him, and he's kind of like looking in your direction because you were the last person speaking, and you flick the coin and his ears kind of perk for a second he kind of like tilts his head and then it hits him in the chest and, it, and he goes oh what was that what, what was that uh, so, sorry uh, um as that happens uh anybody trained in perception can roll me a perception check oh definitely me i am definitely I am trained, trained in perception, perception. I too am trained in the perception. So everyone but Ezra, gotcha. <laughs> um, you're you're all kind of like looking around, scanning, trying to see 
you know, Ashes is trying to see if there's some hidden foe. Bones is, I don't know, looking for bones. <laughs> I don't know. What, whatever Bones does. I don't know. Yeah, but a 16 is not looking for bones. <laughs> Fuck. Bones is looking for things. I just don't know what he is looking for. Um, and Matashtai barely catches a glimpse of as and Darian kind of like flinches back, shifts away from being hit by the coin, right? Um, he's wearing this kind of like very uh, baggy kind of a almost maybe it was ruffled like many years ago, but now it's just kind of like a baggy loose blouse, right? Um, and you see it kind of like wishes and kind of like pushes aside for a second and you see around his neck hanging about right here is a fist sized orb ah the eye of agamotto that has a little little circular red dot facing outwards like an eye or maybe a specific coven. It's, it's a it's a real interesting necklace you got there. And uh, uh, like take uh, he's still taken aback, like shaken from whatever hit him. Right? He says, "What? What? Is necklace? Oh, this? Yeah. I often forget about it." A friend gave it to me a long time ago, I think. You, you don't remember? Um, my memory hasn't, hasn't been the greatest since well ever, but... Mm. It's gotten worse in the last few years. Should uh, probably take some ginkgo biloba. Here, that helps. Oh, that sounds expensive. <laughs> Um, well, um, Andarian, I think that's the eye we're looking for. What eye? What, what are we talking about? I, I, I mean, I, I, I could possibly, uh, do, do a little something to see if it has a magical touch to it. That might, um... Magic? Oh... It's a simple necklace from a uh, friend. Would, would you I, do, I think... do me the honor of um, confirming that for you? And then Darian kind of like, kind of like looks around, like confused, and it looks up for a second. Oh. My old mind wondering how careless of me. All right, I, I think this guy's bullshitting. Can I tell if he's bullshitting? I have guests. Okay. Uh, uh, what what can I help you with? Roll me an insight check. I will do that. It's an 11. Uh, it's an 11. Maybe. All right, I think he's bullshitting. Then. Maybe not. Ezra's going to cast Detect Magic using the Hasna Keta. Okay. Does that have a verbal component? Detect Magic is verbal and somatic, yes. Okay. Um, as you begin to mutter the arcane words that pair with the spell uh, and Darian's... Um, 
his ears peek and he says, Oh, what's that? Oh, no, no. <laughs> don't Please know. don't use magic here. Uh, this is a quiet shop. Uh, I want no trouble. Uh, and he kind of, he starts to, um, uh, please. He, he starts to look a little like worried, panicked. Uh, you I mean, cast detect magic. Cast, so. <laughs> huh? It, can, it takes six seconds to cast, so. Okay. Um, cast it. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a magical presence on the, uh, the... And what is this cool? Um... Bada, bada, bada. Uh, yeah, what would that matter? Bada, bada, bada. Get I, I am starting to think that he is cursed by the eye. More than likely, it's still in. I mean, who magic, does he know? But... Who gave it to? Who gave it to you, old man? Oh, no, friend. Friend named that looks like. I want to be friends. I always need more friends. Mm. Layers. In a moment. Um, it is a. <laughs> doesn't say per se i would say that it is probably um some i would say there are probably many many layers of magic on this the ones that are most strongly flavored to it are probably divination and transmutation Um, however, right, but I'm going to say that it does. Um, that's the eye. You also feel a, um, there's a, there's magic upon Andarian itself. Um, and it is enchantment. Um, and then yeah. in response to Bones' kind of statement, he goes, Oh, this is an old, old friend. Yes. I, I think it was. And then he kind of like looks around confused. And then he looks up at the rafters. And then he says, Oh, oh, my, my mind. Where, where has it gone? I have guests. How rude of me. What can I help you with? Oh, God. Uh, I, I, it's, uh, guys, I, I think he is uh, cursed or being um, manipulated. Uh, I think he's willfully ignorant. No, no, <laughs> like, legitimately, he, is, he has a magical endowment. Uh, I got an eye for this kind of thing. I, I walk I up mean, and I kind of, like, say, Sir, uh, can I help you to a seat? Why don't you relax for a minute? Oh, I'm fine here. I'm used to standing sense. on my feet for long periods of time. Uh, oh, heaven's sake. You're here for lamps, lanterns, candles. What can I get you? Yes, I'll take one candle, please. Ah, uh, there's an assortment. And he gestures towards the northeast corner. Pick what you like. Let me know what slot it comes from. See your game. I go look. Okay. There's an assortment of many different candles, uh, different colors, different shapes and sizes. I grab one at random. Okay. I, I don't necessarily think the uh, artifact is necessarily the source. So, so we 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 might need to be careful. He seems to be. Um... I mean, do we have 
looking in a direction that seems to uh, reset his train of thought. I mean, we do we have enough? What are you talking about? Does he have sandalwood or leather? What's going on here? What about rain on a beach? Uh, what he, about does your... have, he does have Cinnamon. some sense that you would be familiar with. What about bone? Does he have bone? I don't think bone is a scent. Maybe not to you, pleb. Okay, but to, not to me. Maybe you should make that a, a new... Hot new scent this summer. Bone. No, I'm bone. already I'm yeah. already pioneering checks. Gotcha. <laughs> okay. I'm the Alexander Hamilton of fucking wherever the fuck we are, water deep. Alright. I don't know if I'd go that far. So agree to disagree. <laughs> um, uh, and Darian says, oh, this is, I I'm not sure what, what's going on here, but, um, if you're not going to buy something. Uh, oh, uh, I, I, I'm sorry. Did, did I not, not mention, uh, my, my name's Ezra. We met a couple of years ago. Uh, I haven't seen you in so long that, that necklace I gave you, I, I was hoping you would hold on to it. If you'd be willing to hand it over, you know, I, I've got that hundred gold that I promised you once I uh, could. Roll me a deception. Mm -hmm. Oh! That oh, is kill him and be done with it. That is a 22. Um, and Darian goes, oh, Ezra! It is years, yes, hasn't it? And Douglas, friend. Of, of course, Douglas. He, he kind of touches his chest and he. Oh, you you mean this? Yes, yes, yep, yep. I entrusted it to you. Oh, I've, I've held it such a long time. And I'm grateful. Uh, are, are you, are you sure? Yes, I, I, I came with, I came with the uh, gold that I promised for your, uh, city dies. I bet it's like a horcrux. Oh. I could. I guess. Yes, that's. That's fair. And he lifts the. the. thong, the. the. loose yep. leather strapping from around his. his. neck, and he places it onto the counter in front of him. And he says, Oh. It was so heavy. I didn't realize. And he smiles. Um, and then his eyes go black and they burst and he collapses. Ah, uh, you just killed a man. Congratulations. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, Zach, good call. If you throw out enough uh, wild oh accusations, Shit. one of them's right eventually. Oh god, I rush for it, I rush for it, I rush for it. Is he like dead dead? Is he like just bleeding out from the eyes? What's going on? Make a medicine check for me. Okay. Medicine. Very good at medicine. You didn't have to be very good at medicine to see that the interior of his skull is now black soup. Hmm. Fun. He was just trying to live his best. W would you you call it 
his best. It, it didn't seem like he was... He was just trying to make bread by selling candles and leaving everybody alone. Look, now he doesn't see, have to do that. See, I will see, take whichever of the best looking candles from this shop. This, this, <laughs> <laughs> seeing the state of the man, I begin casting a ritual version of Identify on this object. As an homage to his greatness, I will only take the best looking. I... Uh, before I do so, I ask Ashes to close the door. Uh, uh, yeah, I would also sure. like to uh, search around I, and see where he kept his money. Possibly the deed to this place. I pick him up and I try to find, is there a bed in here? Uh, there's a cot. Um, a very small cot in the northwest corner. I pick him up and I carry him to the cot. Um, yep. and then I cover him up with a blanket. Um, yep. And then I put two coins over his eyes. They fall in. <laughs> oh, that grossed myself out. <laughs> uh, and um, I say a, a small prayer uh, that I learned at the Kalimbor Temple. Tell him. I'm real sorry, bud. I didn't know what would happen to you. We should have been more careful. And this is why Ezra's a beta. Blanket you over. You did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Bones is looting the cash register. Is that what I heard? Yes, sir. There's not so really a cash. The boards. I slept the shit. First thing. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to identify the three nicest candles. The three nicest candles? That's right. Okay. Ranked on um, looks, then uh, smell, then um, size. I, I don't Wit know how you rank it. Is Link bigger better than smaller in this instance? Yes, it is. Because it means it burns longer. Okay. That is better. Um, Unless we have an Ark of the Covenant situation. <laughs> so you find three <laughs> candles that you like. You're going to take them? I'm taking them. They're mine now. Okay. Uh, you can pick three scents and three designs that you like as a candle. Because he, he has a very wide selection, so should be good. As long as it's not right. outlandish, like One bone that scented. One like a log that is sandalwood. Um, sure. One that is uh, shaped like a uh, star that is galaxy scented. Galaxy scented? <laughs> Fine. It's Faerun, why not? <laughs> it's actually vanilla. And, um... <laughs> One that's shaped like a fish that is a uh, fish scented. Perfect. All done and done. Each one right, is enough. of size enough and girth enough to weigh a, a pound each. Fuck yeah. That's a fucking massive ass candle. It's got some heft. Yeah. Girth. Hefty candle. Okay. Um, you also find a not locked a uh, very thin, battered, worn lockbox. There is no cash register. Um, I don't care about the money. Is the deed here? Did he own this or rent? There is no deed. You're in Skullport. Just water's right. What are you what? talking about? Uh, I think I, we should. How do you own something? I'm, I'm just gonna like. By might. Or right, or the might or right of others. Okay, so squatters' rights. That's all you had to say. Sure. I won't take his money. No, I'll take his money as an homage to him. <laughs> <laughs> well, otherwise, someone else is going to take it. What do you mean? What do you want me to do? I put the coins on his eyes. Is that what you want me to do? I think we should. Do whatever you want to do. You're going to take the money? Put in the piggy bank. I don't know. If not if Matt's gonna judge the shit out of me. He looked like he's trying to judge already. I'm looking at him right now. He's looking at me. There, there he's is. To judge. 
There is six gold and twelve silver in this lock spot. No, I don't want that. Then I just leave it. <laughs> is a poor man. It is a poor sum. I mean, for some, that's a fucking treasure trove. That's his life savings. That's everything well, he has. Well, I feel bad for him, so I leave it. But I still take the candles. Okay. To remember him by. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, at least Bones isn't, like, taking people's, like, pinky finger bones to remember them by. True. You know? Um, so I'm gonna, look, I'm, gonna look at, I'm gonna look at the corpse. I'm gonna look back at the necklace. I'm gonna be like... Not it. I'm already I, in the process. <laughs> you're you're of doing it. You're identifying. Ten minutes identifying this thing. Yeah, Is there happen. anything else happening in the meantime? Nope. Yeah. Uh... I'm going outside. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hang out outside. Um, ten minutes go by. You identify the item as um <clears throat> as a hag's eye. Um, it's a, it's a powerful artifact created by a coven of hags. Um, your identification gives you knowledge on a couple of the different parameters, um, there, of it. Oh, copy pasta. Uh, there's, there is no copy pasta. I'm paraphrasing, basically. Um, <clears throat> the, uh... What you can determine from it is is this is something that divination wise the hags can use to see out into the wider world. Um, why it was with this Andarian dusk, who knows? Um, shit didn't. It's uh it has a powerful force of I mean force is a poor word you can tell that its construction took life and took energy and a good sum of it right um, this was not forged or created for nothing and to recreate it would probably be a difficult task or an unpleasant one um, and you can feel power within it, right? You can feel that its existence conveys power. Uh, there is a thread within it that links back to something else. Um, and this, this artifact gives that something else power. Um, but as far as the eyes bursting out of your skull... There's nothing, there's nothing that you will identify from this artifact as being... That ties to that. As being like, if one of us holds it or puts it on, we're going to get cursed and our eyes are going to pop. Damn, and you metal. detected different magics on him aside from the, the artifact, the eye. So... It was unfortunately a risk. Uh, Ezra will put it in his uh, bag. Okay. Oh. All right. What do you guys want to do now? Um, as Everyone exits, I'll um, just say. Um, should we go get a boat? Um, are you alright? Don't feel good about it. But, like Ezra said, can't say that was a great life. For all we know, the Hags, what did it to him? In he, had, he had a, a enchantment about him, and in the 
minutes we were there, he lost his memory several times. That might not all be magic, though. We had a. Uh, it also might be, though. It, it, un, it very unfortunate, and I don't feel great about what I did. But I don't necessarily know if it was the worst outcome. I don't think you did anything wrong, Ezra. Um, I look at bones. <laughs> I remember he's telling me candles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smelling the fish one. I'm like, how, how, how heavy is the eye so that I can track weight? Uh, it's just a pound. Okay. Thank you. Um, we didn't know that would happen. We didn't go in there looking to hurt him. Right. But let's make sure we save this kid so it's all worth it. Right. All right. Where are we getting a boat? I'm on a boat. Mother ever forget. The river? Uh, the the docks? Just a guess. To the docks! While, yeah. you were, while you guys were at the docks, there were a number of little uh, rowboats or skiffs, dinghies, all uh, tied up there. Um, many of them showed disuse or wear or tear. Um, there were a couple that looked like they had been scuttled, but were still like um, on the beach or tied to. Uh, there's a little like smaller pebble beach off on one side, um, or they were just still tied to some of the docks. But okay, um, let's. We're gonna grab one that looks serviceable. Um, no major holes. You head through Skullport. Tension pull ticks up again. Okay. And you guys head to the docks. Um, and you're you're just gonna steal a boat. Um, I'll look around. Like anyone near the boat? No. Or, like, someone, what's the what's the what's the thing there? What's so there? We'll, uh, for sale, like at the shops, like in the our special shop. Did someone say something about a folding boat. That was weeks yeah, ago. That was weeks ago. Right. And very expensive. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Because I now see the uh, usefulness of that. I think it was like 11k or something. Yeah, yeah and probably not that useful. So, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do this because I think it's cool. And I want you guys to be able to see what you're kind of like uh, dealing with it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna real quick take a piece of parchment out and just like use my painter's tools and just write, "Sorry, we took the boat. We'll bring it back," and like, <laughs> and pin it to the dock right there. And I'll make a note and say, "No, we won't." <laughs> what? So Is it not, I don't have. You don't have like a little donation box. It's not like honor, honor system. No. Um, so I'm going to drop you guys on a new map. Okay. As you guys are at the docks and you're looking for boats and you're looking down south at the massive fortification um, uh. on the river. You guys should be way, way north. Uh, I have a, a clone in the south. I see me very north. Clone in the south. Right here. Ah, you do. You're in the middle of things. I was. I use. I use yeah, Jay I, I to, to 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 like look around and test like uh, yeah. light and stuff like that. So thank you. You were inside the fortress for a brief time. I just wanted to, yeah. No, it wasn't. Okay, so uh, you guys can kind of see this uh, massive fortification to the south of you as you guys are uh, looking around for a boat. Um, and I'm going to give you a little bit of stuff. Before you lies an imposing fortress. 20 foot high walls jutting up out of the steep 
rocky shores, interrupted at irregular intervals by 30-foot-high towers. Dim braziers dot the battlements, casting an eerie glow about the place. Along the towers and battlements, you see guards lazily manning their posts near ballista and cannon, all aimed outward towards the unknown threat of darkness. Thin arrow slits provide more sources of flickering light, but do little in the way of providing information. The quiet burbling of the Sargoth drowns out any noise that you might hear from the battlement. What was the name of that island there? Coal Island? I think Ezra. Um, I think Ezra I... learned it in his research. Isle of Skull? Uh, and... Bully. Are you typing at one of us? He's having internet problems. Oh, he's having internet yeah. Skull Island. Land of the Con. There's definitely a giant ape in there. Gotcha. <laughs> Land of the Kong. Fantastic. Okay. Alright. Um, uh, but well, there are boats to choose from. So and grab a boat. Atashai so, leaves a, a written message apologizing. <laughs> Sorry, we'll bring it back. Okay. It's so we uh, killed a man and stole a boat. No. We... Yeah, let's get in the boat. <laughs> Liberated someone from a life. We, re we lifted a curse and borrowed a boat. That's the way to spin it. <laughs> We uh, we lifted a curse and freed someone from the life of a fisherman. <laughs> so boring. How, so dull. How, how just boring. Yeah. We really are heroes, guys. No, 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 no. We're mostly good. A at this point, yeah, you guys are actually mostly good. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? Uh, yeah. Yes. Am I a robot in it? Nope. No. Not really. Because for the last five to ten minutes, you guys were Domo Arigato, Mr. Robot, though. Domo, uh, Domo. I heard something about Kong Island, though, you know? Yes. Kong <laughs> Island. All right. So, as you guys take a boat, I do not have a little boat mini. Um, actually, I might have a little boat mini. Boat mini over here? I do not. I don't have a little boat mini. That's okay. Maybe I'll steal a boat mini for next time. Um, we can pretend. I don't know if we can pretend. That's not kind of uh, something that we need to do ever for this game. That's so, just right. Um, as you guys are kind of getting a boat, you can see this um, that you guys are next to, right? Um, this There's an arched stone bridge connecting the island to the town. Its construction is old, though seemingly not as ancient as the fortification itself. Moss and slime cover its few support pillars, and there is just enough room beneath it and between the supports for a smaller vessel to fit through, such as the one that you have taken. Light from the fortress brightens the southern end of the bridge. But the northern portion, where you guys were, is barren and without a corresponding source of light. The river, by the way, is flowing westward. So and if you guys to... want to go east, you are going to be Ashes. rowing upriver. Ashes. 
Oh, my goodness. Um, what is your strength? Uh, 18. Okay. Modifier it's four. Easier with me helping on one and him doing the other? I... What is your strength? Uh, I think 14. Nope, I like 12. Probably not then. Okay. Would um, it help if I was doing it? I'm just going to say no. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> the scenario is, is uh, if someone else is help, helping, then you have to, then it's a matter of timing together, right? So that you're actually rowing with each other. Um, I mean, one the person thing I've got down, it's the, the completing the task with the timing. Absolutely. That might be. The... Um, it is, uh, it is, this is not an impossible task for ashes. It's just going to be a tiring task for ashes. Um, rowing, rowing against the flow of water a is, yeah. is just a chore. A chore. Yeah. Those, the Sargoth is a lazy river. Um, so it's definitely possible. It's just, uh, it's just a pain in the ass. Right. So. All right. I'm going to get to it. Okay. Uh, you begin to row against the river, pushing your way past the Skull Isle fortification. Um, and eventually, you find yourself into a wider open area um, where the Sargoth River kind of lits into this massive open cavern um, and you can feel here the the river begin to split and go in a myriad of directions right um, there are little swirls little tiny whirlpools eddies back and forth um, and they do a little bit to alleviate the uh, exhausting task of rowing the boat upstream. Um, but they also make it a little harder to control. Um, so it's a, a little easier here, a little harder there. Um, so you see as you guys are rowing there are some people uh, at first it, it it there's nothing right but there are some people that eventually notice you up on the battlements they kind of like look down and there's some conversation that happens kind of seemingly gesture i need you guys to roll a 1d6 jake Watch out. Uh, but chow. All right. You watch as one of the individuals up on one of the um, high towers approaches the edge and looks out over you at, or at you. Um, and then they kind of like call, they like again you can't really hear because of the the noise of the water etc etc they kind of like wave over at somebody um and you can't see anything at first until you see suddenly this immense ballista rise into view uh wait what um uh -huh. okay all right matt matt catch it <laughs> we can see them bringing out a ballista to shoot at us is that what i'm hearing it, it looks it like, like it looks like they've kind of like the the ballista are there's like a at rest position and it looks like they've kind of like pushed it up to the edge of the battlements right um probably just gonna shoot if we come too close and there's a little bit of activity as you see someone kind of like move from the side 
with a what looks like a massive harpoon and lays it uh -oh. down onto the ballista. Uh oh! Uh, uh, do, do I? Do, 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 we, do we wait? Do we... Do we... I, I, I would feel more comfortable if we are not the ones to aggress. We don't Ashes. want trouble! So Ashes, the Tash Tash starts yelling one. and waving. We're just boating. I, I expect Ashes has the full might to dodge one of these harpoons, so I will not act unless we are fired upon. Uh, I mean, how are you dodging a boat? He is strong. He controls the current. I believe in him. He will do it. He controls the current. Okay. So, Matashai is waving. Otherwise, we're holding. As Ezra is holding to... How far away are the dudes? Uh, wide a ways. How tall is the wall? Like, like, where are we talking? Like, like the top of the wall, like right here? Uh, up on this turret, actually. Okay. Um, so, so however high it is, so out 60. 60, 70 feet up, and then like uh, 30 or 40 oh. feet up. Now we're yeah, interested. I need, I need some Pythagorean theorem. Interesting that now we're interested in that. I, I'm not interested in it. I am. Interesting. <laughs> Are you going I'm, to I'm, do anything? Not yet. Because math-wise, you don't have a calculator to Pythagorean while you're on the boat on the river. So, yeah, but I, I Matashtai is waving and calling out. Otherwise... I can't hit that far away. We're holding... Ezra, yeah. just under his yeah. breath, you've got, you, you, you've got this, Ashes. You, you, you've got this. I like, I like you, you, you've really got like get a good grip on the oars. Okay. And I have them <laughs> like, like you in the water, but I'm for I'm getting to ready like, to like to like woof. <laughs> and, and I'm like I'm yeah I'm. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. The second I hear like the, <laughs> uh, my intention is to Hulk out. And row um, like of a son of a bitch. You watch as it looks like these two individuals are going through the process of loading this ballista. And one walks over behind it. And then another individual appears on the tower. Um, or atop the turret. And seems to be like shouting at them. Um, and there seems to be some confusion for a brief moment. And then, uh, there's, a look of disappointment on the two. Thank God. Thank fucking God. And they got yelled at for one of them ass. pulls okay. the ballista down and back into the rest Thank position. God. <sighs> As the three that you rolled means that some of the assholes on top of the battlements don't just take random pot shots at you. Hmm. Interesting. All right. We're getting out of here. Oh, they, they were going to get pretty dazed and confused after the first shot. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh... You assume the first shot doesn't take you in the chest and kill you instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I am skinny and hitting fine, anyone dude. and hitting ashes. So it is at this point, right, <laughs> that you guys come out into this kind of a um, big, uh, again, to describe this area, the the water is going every which way. It's clear that the, uh, the river is coming from the northeast, but it's pushing into this great open area and it's splitting in so many different directions that it's creating... Um, uh, an, an odd space where the current is pushing in a bunch of different corrections. There's a lot of undertow here. Um, there's a lot of little whirlpools that you'll see kick up, and every once in a while the boat will hit one of these. But they're they're small. They're not like whirlpools. They're like little little bitty eddies, right? Um, and it'll hit the boat, and you'll be like, ugh, and ashes. You'll kind of like grunt, and you'll have to like hold and push out of it real quick. 
Um, it's kind of a it, it, not something that could sink you or be a, a huge problem, but something that's just frustrating and annoying. Um, as you kind of come into this area, though, you do see a dock to the south. Um, and... Uh, this old dock that you can see, kind of... Let me make sure you guys can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it I, I down here. It. Um, it creaks and sways in the lazily flowing river. Um, and it looks super old. But it seems to be well anchored to the shore. Um, and it seems to be opposite of the fortress itself. You interested in checking it out? Um, uh, assuming that you guys are kind of like pushing this direction, right? As that is happening, so you kind of um, you the river is it's upriver this way, right? And then I'm gonna right. paint some. So it comes in and it flows this way, and then there's a little bit of a push this way, but the river is also pushing back this direction. And then you see there's a very rapid current going down south here. As if it's getting like squeezed and pushed through this particular area. Oh. And that's causing it to, to become much swift, swifter, much stronger of a current. So that's down. That's, it seems down. Not only does it seem down, but you actually... It, it almost as looks as if the water tilts ever so slightly. Terrifying at all. Ha ha ha! It, it's maybe a little terrifying. It's a lot of terrifying. So, what's the plan? Row! 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 Onward, Ashes, we believe in you. Is Ezra just yeah. marking time? Yeah. Row! Bro. Bro. All right, so upriver. Yeah. Okay. Up the river. Yeah, bro, you want some water? You want some water? I, I give you some yeah, water. We, we water them up. <laughs> okay. Again. You want to smell a candle? Roll. I do not. Yeah, give him some bath salts. Riva. <laughs> this one's um, called crocodile skin. I need you, you three crocodiles. I need you to roll an athletics check. This is not This is not to succeed rowing upon the river. It is to see how badly you fail. For there is no success in this adventure. It is <laughs> it is to see whether or not there is a need to check your levels of exhaustion. And right. there is not. Okay. We should probably um, get like a fucking motor or something. It is uh it is old or it is old. It it is hard work and it brings up old memories of your time training. Um a good deal of the training that you undergo. Um <laughs> in your order is patience mm -hmm. and one of the main tests that they use to train people on patience is very heavy physical labor yeah when I first got there I was kind of a scrawny little thing had to bulk up gotta got bulk up gotta bulk, bulk up, up. Yeah, it's fucking all just Physical labor and creatine. <laughs> creatine. <laughs> All right. All, all day, every day. You eventually reach a familiar point. Um, where you had previously been dropped off by the ferryman. Um, and you had headed north into a winding tunnel that eventually brought you back to the southern reaches of Azrox's of the Legion's territory. So you make it back to that place, to the to the last stop of the ferryman, basically. 
You can continue rowing upriver if you would like to do that, or you could get off at this point um, and make your way over land the rest of the way. You guys prefer any? Prefer any what? Do you prefer any of those, like, any of those options? Oh, I lost, I lost concentration midway through, so I have no memory of what he said. We're either stopping here at the entrance to Azrock's hold, or we can keep going. I mean, we should just keep going. We have a mission and a timetable. Yeah. I, I don't have a reason to stop at Azrock's hold, probably. All right, let's get it. Damn, so we're going to kill the people that helped us just because they like eating kids? Yes. <laughs> Correct. I don't know, man. They helped us just, like, sight unseen. And Not just in case anyone has forgotten, that Not crab definitely has a Scorching Ray locked and loaded. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> that is a fair point. That is a fair point. We did arm a crab. Yeah, but think about this. We kill it, we get it back. We're Do not we? supposed to kill them. I like how we didn't give a shit about that crown until we, we had to give it up. I, I didn't know it had a built-in modifier. That's why I didn't give a shit about it. Don't take Jay's milk. All right. You so. <laughs> you guys push your way up into more familiar territory. Damn, the boatman sees you rowing ashes and looks at you oh, like, no. motherfucker? Like, what the fuck? Oh, no, dude. Okay. I, I look at him, just sweat pouring off my face. He knows. He knows that I'd I'd rather just be chauffeured for money. He said, I didn't uh, choose we, the we still, we still have a uh, buffer on his... Uh... So, yeah, as you guys, ride, we didn't you guys are rowing upriver, uh, the Crossfire Canyon or Crossfire Canyon. Crossfire Caves come into view. Okay? Where we slept? Is that what that's called? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The river around you begins to churn. This again. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Well, I need turn? you guys to roll a 1d20. Zach. Yeah. Uh, that's a nine. Yep. So um, a the water around you froths and bubbles as creatures within the water kind of bump the boat and create this stab at them. eating frenzy beneath. I stab um, at them. Okay, so you make a, a hack or a slash here or there, right? Uh, stabbing over the, the edge of the boat. Um, and you, don't, don't fall in. Don't, you don't, glance don't fall in. things here or there. You you maybe find one or two decent purchases. Um, hmm, some decent purchases that release blood for them to key onto instead of us. Uh, roll a d4. Uh, the bow. Damn. No, there's no blood in the water after you stab. Okay. Cool. I can't tell if he's frozen or if he's just got this shitty. Mm -hmm. nope. he's, he's, he's like, oh, it's fucking blood. undead. Ooh yeah. bloodless fish. So you guys are able to push onwards without any real issue. Continuing upriver. Hey Ezra, what kind of fish don't have blood? Do I know of any fish that don't have blood? 
Make a his. Make a the, blood fish check. Make a nature check. Yeah, I'm, I'm not as good at those, but yeah, I'm not good at those. Uh, boy, I say, boy, have you ever been outside? Honestly. Yes, I you, grew you up in the woods, man. I am outside right now. I grew up in the forest, mother. Is it outside if you're underground? Um, so you come to yeah. this crook, to this bend in the river. It begins to churn and froth again. I need you to someone to roll another d20. God. I got the dice roll right out there. Oh, I bet I already did it. Somebody did it. My okay. Easer. Um, again, there's a lot of commotion made, but nothing seems to come of it. Uh, as you press onwards, you pass by that rocky beach where you see the three spectral figures completely unaware of your existence um, that seem to be wandering around. There are literally just holes on the beach and they're just like wandering around digging. They seem lost and confused. Join the club. <laughs> you press on. Continuing up the river. And you make it to that uh, to the cavern that looks like a giant fish's maw where you found the petrified statues. Mm -hmm. um, and beyond it you found the mad drider and its, uh, its forest of cocoons. Oh, is this where you would like to get off? Or would you like to go uh, Yes. I would like to get off here. I am tired, and I don't want to worry about churning waters anymore. Okay. Okay. Do we know that we have a route? Yes. We have a route yeah. to the hags from here. I had to reload. Okay. Um, so you get up, uh, onto the beach, kind of pull the the boat up onto its rocky shore. Oh. Ugh, new alarm. Tokens, uh. Jeremy? Huh? Are you moving our tokens? I have been, yeah. Because I am only seeing... Oh, you are looking at the wrong set of tokens. Oh, do I, do I have another set of tokens for you, Fox? God, I... Yeah. Too many tokens. I don't know. Hey, I only see here. the ones on the bend. The you guys beach. are on the river. Down, I was like, I down. see you clicking. It looks like you're actively moving us, but I haven't moved, so I'm going to reload because I just assume my internet yeah, fucked everything. No, it's down all here on tokens. the river. I've got to just start yeah. deleting tokens for you guys constantly. <laughs> like, I get too many tokens for you guys everywhere. Just fucking everywhere. Okay. As we get off on the beach. Um, Matt's going to turn to the group and say, all right. So, if... We find oh, out that they took this kid. Is everyone here okay to fight? Yeah, I don't I, know. I, I haven't used anything, so so. That's, that's, <laughs> I mean, morally, okay morally to okay to fight. I, I mean, I didn't realize that was a question. If they took a child, that's <laughs> pretty wrong. I agree. So it, it crosses my mind that. The old friend that gave the dude the necklace, that, that was probably the other hag, right? Oh, yeah. Cursed yeah. the Christ out of him? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, it's going to take a while to get that that scene and, and that, stop playing in my the, head. The probability is high, but it is not a certainty. There, there was, just, 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 so, just so we know who we're working for. Undead slave trader and un old man Christ cursor. Wait, hold on. Repeat what you said. I said just so we know who we're working for. You know, uh, we're not just for no one. undead slave trader and old man cursing the Christ out of. Just so we're clear on who we're working for. We're us. working with the kid. We're working for us because there's a kid in trouble. Yeah, right. 
and Matt might have sold his soul in this accord, but we'll deal with that later. No oh, shit. <laughs> And remember, the only one we need to finish is Cuddle Fingers. What, what do we do with the rest of them? They don't. We do not kill them. But what do what what do we do? We, we mechanically specify to the DM that this is uh, non non lethal damage. Non lethal damage. What's a DM? Direct message. It's, uh, oh. it's, it's the, the dick man. Ooh, the, that's a J. The I, dick man! I've been eyeing man. that up. There's there's magic that oh, I yeah, can I got send promoted. to people that I've been He's eyeing up. He's a dick up. man! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Alright. You can, oh, by the way, um, I I adjusted uh, Matashtai's vision range because uh, we had... We had demmed it previously because of the uh, hiding your chase sequence. Your oh, I wonder why I can suddenly see like a lot more. Yeah, the chase so, sequence when you kind of covered it. Yeah. Yeah. So you can uh, you can kind of see the edge of the ferryman's gondola to the north now. By the way. Oh. Ba back in the bad. original uh, post that you left him in. All right, let's go kill some motherfucks. Right. So, as you guys head through, oh, the, stop texting me. As you guys head through the forest of cocoons, where you had fought the mad drider, right? So mad. There's, there's this funny thing that. Uh, Ezra said um, just a little bit earlier, right? He said this uh, thing about having um, not been any fights and being full. So <laughs> as you guys begin to mosey through the uh, scenarios, I need everyone to roll me perception checks. <laughs> uh, 18 passive. And I'm. Uh, uh, you're right, actually. You're right. Sorry, it wouldn't to, be. Uh, it wouldn't be perception checks. It, you're right. It would not be perception checks. It's can I just be, take my nine? It and would not be. Roll? It would be a passive. So don't roll me anything. Just in a moment. Okay, though. good. Because I didn't want to roll and see how terrible it was. <laughs> so. You're all surprised. By the wow. will of this. What a As... god, dude. Honestly, I'm proud of him. As out of the uh, forest of cocoons around you, these tiny glimmering lights rise up into the air. Rise up. And then you're, you're kind of like, what? And then one of them shocks the shit out of one of you. Not it. Not it. I need you all to select your tokens and roll initiative. Wow, six. That's impressive. I mean, it probably should be me, but not it. It's a rough initiative, your bones. No, How did I do better than two of you? This, this is will terrifying. Work for the God. You... I'm actually yeah. shocked. I swear. Wait, wait, wait. Did it roll all? Oh, it did. God, everyone's at a 22. We die in here, boys. No, not everyone. We're going to have to go back and rest. Not everyone is a 22. That's why I was oh, like, I did it? Did it roll? Hit I admittedly do not know how hard or easy. Oh, it is. <laughs> nope, not everyone is a twenty-two. But God, damn! Hey guys, will o wisps are fast. Oh, it's thick. <laughs> I mean, that is a plus fucking nine. nine? But... Jesus! It's will o wisps. They are uh, nothing if not very dexterous. Oh, we did. The E D dead. Okay. Are will will o wisps hard? Yeah. So we will discover that we will discover that next time 
on Dungeon of the Mad Mage as oh our God. party uh, as our party heads to uh, to meet damn. with the Sargoth Coven once more, but this time this time <laughs> with a sour That's taste in their friendly. mouth. Yeah. Lucy, you've got some splaining to do. We'll see how it goes. All right. Be back next yes, week. Nice. For another session of Dungeons Mad Mage. Bye, everybody. Happy goodbye. Bye bye.